The MVP Patrick Mahomes out for tonight's showdown against the Packers. Matt Moore was out of the NFL and an assistant high school football coach a few months ago, but Moore making the start on primetime for the Chiefs. The 12 year veteran making his 31st NFL start and the first since 2017. On the other side, Aaron Rodgers, one of the best QBs in the NFL. Green Bay jumps in front 14 0, but Moore would lead the Chiefs back with pressure in his face, finding a wide open Travis Kelsey for a 29 yard touchdown. That cuts the lead in half. Later in the second quarter, McCall Hardman takes the flip, and once he's in the open field, good luck. Too much speed as he's gone for a 30 yard touchdown. Tying the game up, Moore finishes with 267 pass yards and two touchdowns. The Packers retake the lead, but the Chiefs respond. Fourth quarter, this time Damian Williams in from three yards out and were tied up at 24. But Aaron Rodgers and the Packers had the last laugh. Rodgers to his running back Aaron Jones as Jones shows off his speed and he's gone to the house for a 67 yard touchdown. The Packers win 31 24. The Chiefs lose their third straight home game falling to five and three on the season. The Missouri football team pretty much has two personalities. There's home Mizzou and road Mizzou. The Tigers are 5-0 at home and 0-3 on the road. Another tough performance for Barry Odom and Mizzou. The Tigers were about 10-point favorites at Kentucky but lose 29-7. Quarterback Kelly Bryant hurt his hamstring in the first quarter and left in the third quarter because of the injury as the offense struggles all night long. The Tiger defense allows 297 rushing yards. Mizzou enters its second bye week at 2-2 two two in the SEC. Up next, another road game at Georgia on November 9th. Josh Taylor and the 25th ranked Mizzou volleyball team taking on Mississippi State. Opening set, Tiana Omazic with the running spike. She had 12 kills. The Tigers take the first set 25-19. Second set, more Mizzou and who else but Kylie DeBerg with the power. She led the way with 14 kills as Mizzou also wins the second set. Lekator member Monet had 13 kills. Here's one on match point. Just too much power. Mizzou wins in straight sets. The Tigers are 14 and 4 and 6 and 2 in the SEC. Jefferson City High grad Sarah Luber and the Mizzou soccer team with a tough road test at number 22 Texas A&M. Less than five minutes in, Luber takes on the defense and slots it home for the perfect finish. That's her eighth goal of the season. But too much Texas A&M and Allie Watt with a rocket in the upper corner for our fourth goal of the game. Mizzou loses 5-3. Mizzou's Max Scherzer was supposed to start game five of the World Series tonight against the Astros, but couldn't go because of back spasms. That would hurt the Nationals. Joe Ross getting the start instead, and he struggles. Top second, Jordan Alvarez with a drive to left center and it's just gone for the two run homer in the fourth. This time it's Carlos Correa who takes him deep for another two run shot. The Astros win 7 1 and take a 3 2 series lead. The Blues with a wild game this afternoon. St. Louis jumps out to a 2 0 lead against the Red Wings. Then 3 1 a great game for Ryan O'Reilly who finishes with two goals and two assists. But the Red Wings retake a 4 3 lead. And it's O'Reilly with a game tying goal. We head to overtime and here's the slap shot by David Prawn as he beats the goalie. The Blues win a wild one five to four. Moving to preps, Kalias softball beat Logan Rogersville 13 0 as the Lady Crusaders advance to the state final four. It was a wild Saturday afternoon. The two teams started playing in Jefferson City, but because of rain, moved to the turf field in Columbia at Hickman High School. An all around win for Kalias as the Crusaders are confident heading into Friday's state semis. Hey, we're, we're where we wanted to be at the beginning of the season. Um, this was our goal to make the Final Four, and they made it. Um, but they know we're not done. we got two more games to win. Oh, for sure. If we keep playing like we do, and our defense keeps being there, and our offense keeps showing up, then, yeah, there's no way we can lose. Elias will take on either Notre Dame, Cape Girardeau, or Incarnate Word Friday in the Class 3 semifinals. Those two play each other tomorrow. And the high school football regular season wrapped up with some great games. KRCG 13's Tony Mullen has a look at our Play of the Week nominees. 
Here are our top plays from week nine of the high school football season. Play number one, Hickman quarterback Jevin Brown takes this one himself. 52-yard touchdown run in the Cupes win over Oak Park. Play number two from the Boonville Pirates. They've had a lot of big runs this year. Avion Thomas with the latest. He will go 66 yards on this touchdown run against Southern Boone. And play number three, some trickery from the North Callaway Thunderbirds. Running back Jaden Henry ends up with the ball. He'll chuck it deep to Wyatt Radel, 48 yards on the touchdown pass. You can cast your vote for Play of the Week on our KRCG 13 Facebook and Twitter pages.